Hello, in this video I'm going to fix loose shifter knob on my 1986 Mazda B2000. My Mazda, the shifter knob feels wobbly and feels all loose. It doesn't feel great. So I'm going to replace uh, the bushing that's located in here. So first thing I'm going to do is remove the little shifter knob. Just twist it off. Set it to the side. Next thing, I'm going to remove this rubber boot cover. Next thing, I'm going to pull this rubber cover off. And it's it's all very uh, worn out. Next thing, I'm going to remove this rubber cover from the outside. It's also very worn out. I believe this and this used to be one piece. At one point it was like this. And now it's just torn out. So I'm going to take 10 millimeter socket extension and my impact impact wrench. And I'm going to remove the three bolts. Next thing I'm going to remove this cover from here. That'll be I believe it will be easier just to just to pull the whole thing out. And it looks like this, it looks filthy. Next thing you want to do, you want to take a rag and clean up all the debris. It's on the bottom. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is remove this part right here, this cover. I'm gonna cut this off, this little dust boot. I guess at one point it used to be one piece, now it just broke off. So hopefully we can slide this piece off now and it just comes off. Slide it through here and slide the topper part of this. This is sort of like a bull joint and shifts in there but I'm guessing this is pretty worn out. Okay so what I have here is a replacement uh, shifter for my Mazda truck. I bought this from a local junkyard for $6. It came with this little piece. Uh, the original shifter was bent quite a bit. And I bought this one. I could not see if this was straight, but it looked straight to me because it had this old piece right here. But it also has slight bend to it too. Um, so whatever. It doesn't matter. But the most important thing is that it came with this little piece right here. And in my truck, it, it was missing that little cap. And that's what made it all wobbly. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put this piece right here. And this is uh, the seal and the cover for the uh, gearbox for the Mazda. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to put this plastic piece right here on here and this part has to be down like this next thing we're gonna do is put a little bit of lubricant on the shaft and then you slide it on and it should slide on pretty easily it's on it's looking good all right so we have our shifter here ready to install now I understand some of the Mazda cars and some cars have a separate box for separate gear oil that's not connected to transmission, but I could not find any information. I have a Mazda manual, and from what I understand, this part right here gets lubricated from transmission. Uh, it reeks of gear oil. It doesn't smell like transmission oil. So 
So to say I don't have to add anything. So we'll try to slide this over this protrusion right here. I don't know if you can see it right there. And I already have the other plastic piece like that that's on the bottom. It's already installed. It's not going to be the easiest job, but I just have to wiggle it in there. All right, so just make sure that little plastic piece is sitting there flush, and it seems like it is. Then you're going to align the holes for the bolts. Start inserting the bolts. So you can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm putting these bolts in. Next we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket and tighten it up. First I'm going to do it by hand. Then I'm going to grab my ratchet. These don't need to be overly tight, just a little bit, because you can easily strip it. The bottom part is aluminum, and I'm not really forcing, I'm just tightening a little bit. It feels great. It's tight. Ooh, this feels so much better. Now I went out and splurged, and I bought this little rubber piece that goes on top of it here. It's also a Mazda part. This is the part number in case you want to get it. And some other information. I don't know if it's relevant, but I think this is the one that you need. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, is this little worn out piece is this. So we're going to put this on here. And it's on. Great. Then we're going to put this on. There's some schmutz on it. It's on. Nice. And the last part. Just a little shifter knob. That looks pretty straight. Awesome. It feels so good. It feels like a brand new car. Thanks for watching this video. I probably took about 30 minutes to do the whole job. It's very easy, one of the easiest things I've done. Um, I did have to do it a month later because I, it took me a while to order the parts. But other than that, it's really easy. Um, subscribe to my channel and like my video if you like to see some other repair videos and other projects that I work on. Thanks for watching.